As we know, students come to school with many different backgrounds and experiences. Our goal as educators is to provide the best learning environment in order for all learners to reach their potential. Creating a classroom that is sensitive to different stressors of individual students, as well as the class as a whole, is becoming more important. A sensory inclusive classroom is one aspect that allows students to focus their energies on learning rather than using that energy to cope with external stimuli. Some of the most common stressors are fluorescent lights and sound. Dimming the lights, turning some of them off, or using magnetic light filters are all ways that can address this. Sound is harder to monitor. For students on the spectrum, noise canceling headphones work. However, noise can be a stressor for many students. An option to use for the class as a whole is sound absorbing panels on the walls. I like to provide a quiet area where students can go if they are feeling overwhelmed or stressed. This is a spot where they can use some of the strategies that they have been taught in our social emotional learning classes. For students who have additional needs through their IEPs, Yogi Bo or their special spot can be placed throughout the classroom. For students identified, they use these tools according to their behavior plans. These are working documents and evolve as their needs change. My ABA specialist is a great resource and I often use her expertise and observations when I'm in a situation where I'm unsure how to proceed. In contrast, some students need to fidget or exercise to calm their bodies down. For these students, I have a variety of weighted animals, balls, or fidgets that they can use when they need it. At the beginning of the year, we always talk about the difference between a tool or a toy. Tools are things that help us regulate our minds and bodies so that we can do work. Toys are things that we play with and they do not help us regulate or get our work done. Using toys during class can be a distraction for everyone. I have found with clear guidelines and open discussion around these ideas, students almost always use these options responsibly. Sometimes I find that students don't recognize or know why they're acting or feeling a certain way. As a class, we explicitly talk about feelings and try many different calm down strategies. This allows students to see what works for them. I think that what I have found is that teaching what calm looks like, feels like, and sounds like are really important. Once students know what makes them feel good and in control, they will eventually self-regulate on their own. Recently, each board in Ontario has hired a mental health lead. These people are great resources and will have different activities or strategies to share with you for your classroom. Having a whole class approach to sensory needs and teaching social emotional learning helps create an environment that is beneficial to all students while taking into account the needs of identified students. Really, the goal is for students to feel safe and in control of themselves, which ultimately allows them to reach their full potential as a learner. When this happens, really, the possibilities are endless.